Hello and welcome to English lesson number 26. So first of all, can everybody turn and wave to our friends on camera? Say hello. 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 And we'll begin with our meditation sequence. So everybody, once teacher Wes has sat down, we'll take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, slowly open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So everybody stands up and push in your chairs. And let's begin by walking. Stop. Stop. Let's turn around. Turn back the other way. And then let's have a little jog on the spot. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Three claps. And please sit down. Four claps. English lesson number 26. Does anybody remember what we've been learning about in the previous few English lessons? Remember what we were doing? If we want to listen to music or watch television, what do we use? Electricity. Electrical devices. We use electricity. Prow is right. All of these things need electricity. That's why we call them, ready guys? E L E C T R I C A L. Electrical. 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 D-E-V-I-C-E-S. Electrical devices. Device more or less means machine. 
It's like a machine, something that needs electricity to work. Okay, guys. So what type of electrical devices did we talk about? MP3 player. MP3 player. MP3. Three. And how do we spell player? MP3 player. CD player. C D E L E Y E O. Camera. C A M E R A. Television, or for short, TV. Remember the other one, we had CD player for music. If we want to watch a movie, DVD. D V D player. Any others? Computer. Computer, excellent, Dan. C O M P U T E R. Computer. MP3 player, CD player, camera, TV, DVD player. Any others we can remember? Washing machine, cell phone. Okay, we'll write that one cell phone or telephone. I think they say cell phone in America. Washing machine. Okay. Next, we will talk about these are electrical devices. But when we want to use the electrical devices, what do we need to do? Remember, we were talking about using the electrical devices. What's that word beginning with V? V. When we do something. V. 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 Verbs. There we go. V. E. R. B. S. Verbs. Remember? Turn on, very good. That's one we have. Turn on. If we want to watch, we turn on. But when we're finished watching, we need to and if we can't hear, if we can't hear, we need to turn up. T U R N. And then if it's too loud, turn down. Take a picture or take a photo. Take a P H O T O photo or picture. Take a photo. Take a picture. Turn on. Turn off. Turn up. Turn down. Take a photo. Take a picture. And the last one. All of these things we need to. Use, we use them. U S E. Okay, excellent, guys. Today we're going to focus on one word. One word in particular in its various forms. That word is C A can. C A N 
can we can turn on a computer we can turn off mp3 player we can turn up a cd player we can turn down tv we can take a photo with a camera okay we can but sometimes if we can't we will say C A N can't okay can we listen to a camera no. no we take a photo we can take a photo but we can't listen to a camera can we watch a computer sometimes we can we can watch the screen we can watch a computer can we watch a cd player no there's no screen we can listen but we can't watch okay so the focus of today's lesson is can and now we've got a powerpoint presentation for you to look at first okay so guys all turn to the tv screen so the title of today's powerpoint presentation is can can, can. can. why do we use the word can to express an ability of something we can do you see can equals ability. ability yes if we can do something that means we have an ability like teacher Wes can swim so swim is an ability I have teacher Wes can walk so walk is an ability I have what can you do I can talk so you you see talk is an ability black girl, how about you I can swim excellent Ned what can you do I can eat. Okay, very good. Pak Bung, what can you do? I can walk. I can walk. Excellent. Chu, what can you do? I can. Prow, what can you do? I can run. Very good. Pet? Okay, that cow? Excellent, I can play very good. Pang Pong, what can you do? I can sing. Okay, very good. Down? I can run. Excellent. I can dance. Very good, Nadia. You see, can means an ability that we have something we can do not can't do so can yes he can 
sing. Can you say? He can sing. If you cannot, she cannot sing. Can equals ability. Here we have the words I, you, he, they, she, it, we. These are the subjects. And then we use the verb can. Like I can play football. Mm. Volleyball, anything. Yes, we'll get to practice this soon. You see? So we can say, I can. I can. You can. You can. He can. He can. She can. She can. It can. It can. We can. We can. They can. But if cannot, we say, I can't. I can't. You, can't. you can't. He can't. He can't. She can't. She can't. It can't. It can't. We, can't. we can't. And they can't. Excellent. And then we used the verb. So remember guys, can means ability. Okay? okay. okay. Any questions? No. Okay. Welcome back to class. We hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation, which demonstrates how to use the word can. And to remember, can means an ability. If we cannot do that thing, we say cannot or can't. And what we're going to do now, teacher Wes will do a board exercise to show how we can construct a sentence to say we can or can't do something. Ready guys? So the first thing we're going to look at is subject. Can anybody remember the words from the subject? I. I. You. I. You. 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 Yeah. He. They. He. He. he or she. It. 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 We. We. Ready? I. I. You. It. it. They. He, she, we, okay? These are our first group of words known as subject. subject. Next, we will have our first verb, verb one, which will be can, if we can, C-A-N. Or, what about if we can't? C A N T, which is the contraction of cannot. And then we'll have verb number. We have verb one, verb number two. We can have any type of verb. What verbs have we used? Play. Play. Walk. Walk. Roll. Run. Run. Jump. Eat. 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 Jump. Drink. 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 Draw. Any more? You can think of some yourself too. Call. Sorry? Call. Call. Sing. 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 
Sing. Dance. Sit. Dance. Okay, that's enough for now. And next, after verb two, we'll have our compliment. Like play. Football. Draw. A picture. Eat. Hamburger. Dance. Dance. Quickly. Or slowly. Drink. Juice. But you can think of your own. What we're going to do to remember is this table. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. So teacher Wes will go first. We can use any word from subject. We don't need to use I. So teacher Wes will say, we, we can, can play, play chair ball. Okay, I think myself, chair ball isn't there. If you can think yourself, that's a good thing to do too. You don't have to use the words on the board. These are examples. If your students can think themselves, that's very good. So one more time. We, we can, can play, play chair, ball. chair ball. Now I'm going to ask each one of my students to come forward and speak a sentence using our table. They can use the words on the board or if they can think of words themselves, even better. But the first two will always be subject and then can or can't. Yes, you can say can or you can say can't, up to you. Like down, we could say we can't play Chair ball, up to you. It's just to practice speaking and to practice thinking. So, Nadia, please join teacher at the front. So, this is word group one. This is word group two. This is word group three. And this is word group four. Can you say your four words in a sentence? I can play I can play badminton. Excellent. High five and round of applause. You see? It's as simple as that. Four words. I can play badminton. But teacher Wes cannot. I can't play badminton. I'm not very good, I can't play. Down, are you ready? Remember, you don't have to use I, you can use any word. He, he can play football. He can play football. Or, teacher Wes, he can't play football. Excellent. Round of applause for Dan. <laughs> Bang bon. And what we're going to do now, as the words are getting spoken, teacher Wes will delete, so we can't use them ones anymore. Anyone? I can eat Any food you can choose. Okay, excellent. See, Bang Pon thinks himself. I can eat French fries. High five. Excellent. Round of applause. So, I goes already. So we can you practice use other words, but you can use eat again. So let go.
excellent. She can color Batman. High five. That's excellent and very good because she thought herself. You see, no color here. No Batman here. That girl thought herself. She can color Batman. Now she's gone. Pat, come and join teacher. So think, guys, of your sentence. Ned, are you thinking of your sentence? So any subject first. You. You can play football. Okay, we've had that one, but we can do it again. You can play football. Round of applause for Pet. So now we'll delete play. Prel, come and join teacher. Can you say your sentence? We can. Pizza. Excellent. We can eat pizza. And we don't have pizza here. Prel thought herself. So high five. And round of applause for Prel. <laughs> we can eat pizza. Two. Come and join teacher. Okay, four words. Four words. Can you put your sentence together? It can run quickly. Ready? It can run quickly. It can run very quick. But if it can't, it can't run quickly. So one more time. It can run quickly. High five. Excellent. Round of applause for two. Boom. Are you ready? You can watch TV. Excellent. And she thought by herself, we don't have watch. We don't have TV. But one more time, Pak Boom to camera. You can watch TV. You can watch TV. Excellent. Round of applause for Pak Boon. You can watch TV. Ned. Last but not least. Come and join teacher. Do you have your sentence? Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Can you say? He can... Jump. Sorry? Okay, excellent. He can jump forward. He can jump forward. Excellent. The word forward is not there. Met thought himself. One more time. He can jump forward. High five. Excellent, guys. Round of applause. So you see, just by putting various words together from the different groups, it gives us one sentence to say, an ability, we can. Or if we don't have the ability, we can't.
Understand, guys? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Okay, guys, so now time for our stretch sequence. So everyone stand up and push in their chairs. Ready? Let's stretch high. High to the sky. And then let's go tippy toe high. And then we'll go down, down, down to the ground. And then back up. And this time we'll stay here, we'll stay stretched, and we'll go left and right, side to side. Side to side, side to side. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Hands on hips. Let's give our left leg a kick. And let's give our right leg a kick. And I think this time we'll turn round three times. One, two, three. Okay, and to finish, we'll clap. Nadia, how many times? Three. Ten. Okay, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, guys. Please sit down. Okay, welcome back to class. So, guys, what's the word we use when we have an ability? If we do something, we can excellent c a n that means we have ability what about if we don't have the ability can't a n t can can't can't can. 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 Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can. Can't. Excellent. But how about if we want to ask the question? What question do we need to ask? Before we know can or can't, we need to ask Can I you, we, they, he, it. And in English, if we write a question, what do we need to have? Him? Can I? Can you? Can we? Can they? Can he? Can, he. Can, she. Can she? Can it? Can. It. Can. Can. Can't. Can't. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a classroom activity. Teacher, what you need to do is you will have the flashcards of all of the various things that we're going to see if we can do. We have sing, play football, fish, cook, skateboard, play chess, climb a mountain, swim, play video games and sing so we're going to ask our students to ask if they can do if can we will say you can if can't we will say you can't so what we need to do first is give one worksheet to each student and they have to cut their two cards because soon they have to vote can or can't so everybody guys cut your cards into you can or you can't you're welcome thank you you're welcome thank you you're welcome thank you so
So just have two simple cards. You can or you can't. You're welcome. No, sir, I will get. Welcome back to class. Now it's time for our class activity. Are we ready guys? We have play video games. Video games. Swim. Swim. Climb a mountain. Climb a mountain. Play, chess. play chess. Skateboard. Skateboard. Cook. Cook. Fish. Fish. Play football. Play football. Sing. I'm back to video games. So what will happen now is teacher Wes will give each student a flashcard and they will come forward and they will ask the question, can I and the video and the flashcards. Students who think can will say, you can. And then students who think cannot will say, you can't. Okay, so first students, Nadia. Can you come forward? And don't forget guys, wave your cards above your head. You can or you can't. Have your cards ready. So remember the question, can I? And then the activity. So Nadia. Can I swim? And show your cards to class. Can. So who thinks? Can. How many? Three people. And how many can you say? You can. And who thinks? You can't. Okay, very good. Next one, high five. Next one, round of applause. Down. Climb a mountain. Don't forget your quest. Can I climb a mountain? Who thinks? You can. You can. And who thinks? You can't. Black girl. You can't. High five. Round of applause for down. Bang pong. So now, can I play chess? Who thinks you can? And who thinks? Excellent. Well done. Pang Pong. High five. A round of applause. And next we have Lakao. Lakao, can you come and join teacher? And here's your flash. Or can you ask your friends? So who thinks? You can. Or you can't okay if you think that girl can you say 
you can and if you think can't you can't so one more time black gal can you ask You can't. Excellent, guys. Lakka, well done. High five. Round of applause for Lakka. And next we have Pet. Come and join. So let's see who thinks Pat can do this. Cook. So can you say? Can I? cook so who thinks you can or you can't okay excellent high five pet round of applause for pet next one prel Can you ask your friends, show them the cards? So who thinks? Can Prel fish? You can. Or you can't. Very good guys, well done. High five. Round of applause for Prel. Chu, come and join teacher. Are you ready? So remember the question, can I? <laughs> can you say? Chu? Can, can I, I play football? So who thinks? You, you can. You can, and who thinks? You, you can't. Okay, excellent. High five, two. And now we have Pak Bung. Ready? Here's your flashcards. So can you ask your friends? Can So who thinks Pak Bung? You can. And who thinks? You can't. Excellent. One more time. Can you ask? Can I sing? And we say either you can or you can't. Excellent. High five. Round of applause for Pak Bung. Net, come and join teacher. You get this one. Play video games. So can you ask, can I? Can you say? Can I? Play video games. Can Net play video games? Who thinks? You can. And who thinks you can't? Okay, excellent, Net. High five and round of applause. Round of applause. So we see, whenever we want to ask about an ability, we ask first, can I? And then the ability. If we think we can, we say, but if we think no, we say, you can't. can teacher Wes speak English? You can. can teacher Wes speak Chinese? You can't. Excellent guys, round of applause. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of today's lesson. So we hope you had a good time learning about the word can and the various ways in which to use it. So we'll see you again for the next lesson. Can we all turn and wave and say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye-bye.
See you next time.